Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm all about helping you build your dream gaming or editing setup without wasting money. Today's video is for those of you who want to play games smoothly, edit videos fast, or just want your PC to finally stop lagging without spending a fortune. Let's be honest, graphics cards in 2025 can get crazy expensive. But the good news, there are powerful, budget-friendly options that deliver great performance. So today I'll show you the best graphics cards to buy this year, depending on your needs, gaming, rendering, streaming, and your budget. And don't click away early, because the last GPU on this list is the G most underrated, and it could be the ye best value of 2025. Ready? Let's go! Why picking the right GPU matters. Let's start with this. Why is your graphic card so important? Well, it's the part of your PC that powers your games, videos, rendering, live streams, everything visual. If your GPU is weak, your games will lag, editing will be slow, and your PC will feel outdated real quick. But if you choose the right GPU, your experience becomes smooth, fast, and actually fun. Imagine playing Cyberpunk. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood! Now Thanks to an amazing DTA 6 at ultra settings without any stutter. Or rendering a 4K video in half the time. That's what a good GPU does. And that's exactly what I'm going to help you find today. The best graphic cards in 2025. Now, let's go through the best GPUs of 2025, one by one. I'll keep it simple, explain who each card is for, and help you decide which one fits your setup and budget. Number 1. NVIDIA RTS 4060T. The All-Rounder. If you want smooth gaming at 1080p or 1440p and also do a little bit of editing, this card is perfect. It supports DLSS 3, which means even heavy games run fast and smooth. Whether it's COD Warzone or Forza, you'll easily get 100 FPS. Also, it uses less power, so it won't overheat your PC. Price. Around $400. Best for gamers and casual streamers. Number 2. MD. Radon RX. 1800 XT. Rate for 1440p and 4K. This one is AMD's answer to NVIDIA's high-end cards. You get 16B of memory, amazing performance in 1440 and even 4K in some games. Plus, it works great with AMD's FSR tech, which is similar to DLSS. Games like Starfield. Hogwarts Legacy. They run beautifully on this card. And for editing. No problem. Renders are fast. Price. Around $500, $550. Best for gamers and creators who want higher resolution without breaking the bank. Number 3. Intel Arc. A770, the surprise option. Yes, Intel makes graphic cards now. And this one is seriously underrated. If you want a solid GPU for gaming and content creation, but your budget is tight, the Arc A770 is a smart choice. It supports ray tracing, 1440p gaming, and even of one encoding, which is great for YouTubers or streamers. Intel has improved its drivers a lot in 2025, and this card is now very stable. Price. Around $300. Best for budget creators and gamers. Number 4. NVIDIA RTS 4070. Super. Power for creators. Now we're getting into serious power. If you're a content creator, editing 4K videos using Unreal Engine or Blender, this card is a dream. You get 12 egg of fast memory, 
ray tracing, and excellent performance in both games and rendering apps. This card is also great for future proofing. You won't need to upgrade for the next three, four years. Price, around $600, six times $50. Best for pro creators and hardcore gamers. Number five. Number I and RX 7600 best budget option for gamers now if you're just getting started and want a good gp under 300 dollars this is it the RX 7600 gives you great 1080p performance in games like Fortnite Valorant and Apex Legends it even supports ray tracing and editing in tools like Premiere Pro is smooth you won't get 4k gaming but for its price, it's a solid card for budget builds. Price, around $260, $280. Best for new PC builders and casual gamers. Number six, bonus, used RTX 3070 or RX 6700 XT. Now here's a trick. If you don't mind buying used, you can find amazing value in older cards like the RTX 3070 or RX 6700 XT. These cards still run modern games at 1440p easily. And because they're from 2-3 years ago, you can now find them for much cheaper, sometimes under $300. Just make sure you buy from a trusted seller and check if it hasn't been used for mining. Number 7. Honorable Mention RTX 4060. The RTX 4060 is slightly cheaper than the 4060 Ti, and while it's not as powerful, it's still a solid choice for 1080p gaming. You still get DLSS, ray tracing, and great support from Nvidia Data. Perfect for budget gamers who want to stick with Team Green. Price around $300, $330. Final thoughts? End recommendation. All right, so which GPU should you pick? Here's a quick recap. One, want great all-around gaming. Go for our NTX 4060 T. Two, want 4K or creative work. Pick RX 7800 XT or RTX 4070 Super. Three, on a tight budget, try. RX 7600 or ARC A770 E. 4. Want insane value? You look at used RTX 3070 or RX 6700 XT. There's no best for everyone. It depends on your budget and what you'll be using it for. But now you know what to look for. And you're way ahead of most buyers out there. Still confused which PC parts to pair with your GPU? Don't worry, I made a full video on the best budget gaming PC build for 2025. I walk you through everything, from CPU to case, and how to build a fast, affordable PC that doesn't bottleneck your GPO. Click on the video on screen now to watch that next. Build smart, save money, and enjoy the performance you've always wanted. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, Give it a like and subscribe for more helpful content. I'll see you in the next one.